what is going on you guys it is time for another <laughs> upset because I filmed a video yesterday for Wine and Design today, but for some reason it's not exporting the video. I think the video is just too big, but I definitely will be sharing it because it's me teaching a client like an actual coaching call on how to work her website, like basically how I hand off the website to a client and like how I teach them how to like edit Divi on their own. So I'll definitely be giving that away, that video soon and um but tonight is wine and design and i am going to be trying out i actually already drank some of this the other night with my friend um but it is the my Mioni pinot noir no joke you guys like top down hands down not top down hands down favorite red wine i've tried and i know i said that before with one of the trader joe's wines i've had but this is like legit so good. Um, it's a little bit pricier. I got it at World Market and it was like $25, I think, but it was on sale for like $13. But I really like it because it's kind of like sweeter. It has like very sweet tones to it. It's not super dry and it's just like nice and smooth and really good. So let's pour ourselves a glass of that right now. And then if you're curious where this was made, it is from Santa Barbara. Monterey County in Sonoma, so actually kind of where I'm from originally. Well, I guess I'll finish the whole thing. Um, so I didn't have that much left, but yeah, really, really love this wine. So anyway, just a little random update on my life. Last night we had to take Leo, my cat, which he wants to come say hi. Come here, baby. Come say hi. Uh, we had to take him to urgent care last night because he had a little problem with his butt, <laughs> um, but we got it all fixed and he's feeling so much better today. As you can see, he's like playing with me and that really hurts, but um, he feels a lot better. So it was a little bit scary last night though because we had to take him and get it all figured out but he's all better and i'm so glad that it wasn't anything super serious but um i guess that certain breeds of cats now he's biting my feet um need to get expressed from their glands kind of gross but something to just be aware of because if you don't catch it in time then it could turn into something more serious so that happened last night kind of a random side note but Anyway, in terms of wine and design today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys how I trace or create elements for logo designs on Procreate. So I have my iPad right here, the seventh generation iPad, and um, Samar gifted it to me last Christmas or my birthday last year, and I absolutely love it. I think it's such a great tool to have if you're a graphic designer because you can do so many things like art-wise with Procreate and just if you're on the go a lot this is really awesome for like doing quick designs on procreate or even like if you get canva on here like there's a lot you can do with your ipad so i'm going to be using procreate and you do have to purchase procreate i believe it's like 29 or 35 dollars um i'd have to check but you have to purchase it but i think it's one time or yearly fee and it's such a super cool tool um, I really love doing like portraits. Um, I'll show you some example ones I've done for like when people want a sketch of them for like a profile picture or maybe like a YouTube intro or even just for fun to hang up. Um, like I've done this girl's. I think I've shown you guys a little bit of these before, but and then I did this dog the other night. Like fun things like that. So. Um, I'm gonna just kind of show you guys. It'll probably be a little quicker video just because my other one didn't really turn out very well, but I think it's really cool to see how the process of coming up with elements works and how people approach it and everything. So this client, I made a logo for her 
a long time ago um it was like way before sweden and she came back with some edits because she didn't love the crown because it involves a crown um and she really wants like a very unique vintage looking just abstract crown and that's something i just cannot find online anywhere like um with any like element websites or icon websites it's something that really needs to be custom done um and then also a little side note on that um because she came back after we already designed it i did have to let her know that this was an additional fee because it went past the amount of hours we basically estimated for the logo itself and now that she wants more custom touches to it i did have to let her know that but i do want to mention that because i think it's important to keep that in mind and don't work for free like even when it's little um, touches to the logo like that so I will show you guys um, I'm gonna bring everything into my iPad and then screen record on my iPad and just show you the logo I made what she wants the crown to look like and then I'll probably just do a little time lapse of me creating the crown and yeah just kind of nice little aesthetic way to watch someone designing but I just wanted to do that for you guys today so i'm going to transfer everything to my ipod ipad and um we'll start from there also one side note i wanted to mention before we hop into my ipad screen recording is i don't actually have an apple pencil um i have like apple everything i have macbook ipad all that but i haven't committed to buying the pencil yet because i bought this pen right here on amazon excuse my dry hands, um, on Amazon um, a long, long time ago. And it has worked totally fine and I actually love the way it works. So it has like this part right here of it. Um, like it has an end like that, but also the end with like the flat tip. Um, so I think it's pretty cool and it works really well. One thing I have heard about the Apple Pencil is that the tip of it can kind of wear off a little bit and it can get kind of scratchy. So it's important to really put a screen protector on your iPad. Um, I probably eventually will get a pencil just because I know the Bluetooth capability makes it really nice to like detect everything really quickly. But this is not Bluetooth at all, it's just touch. So if you are like leaning your hand on the iPad, it will detect that and it could make a line. So that is one reason why the Apple Pencil might be a good investment or something like that, um, because this is all based on touch. Um, but it works for me and I really like it. So yeah, just thought I'd add that in because that is something I definitely researched and experimented with. <laughs> so much if you gave it a thumbs up subscribe down below and i will see you guys in my next video